After you have purchased and activated your QuickBooks Link program, you can access it from the Utilities menu, Procare Extras, then QuickBooks Link. The QuickBooks Link program will open up, and you'll need to, the very first time, designate where your QuickBooks Chart of Accounts export file is located. Mine is located on my desktop. You can locate it by clicking the button over on the right and searching your computer here as needed, and then tell Procare where that Chart of Accounts file goes. The option here to review Chart of Account Types mapping can be checked after you've done your initial configuration, but the first time through, Procare will bring this screen up for you automatically. And then your process information will change each time you run the QuickBooks Link program in Procare and create a new export file for a new period. So this might be a month date range, something like September 1 through, say, September 30. And then you'll also have a transaction number here. Procare will automatically increment this number each time you create an export file from Procare to import into QuickBooks. And lastly, you'll tell Procare where you'd like to have the export file located. For example, I have it located going to my desktop. And when I click the Next button here, I'm going to get the Account Types Mapping screen because this is the first time through. After this time, Procare will remember the Account Types Mapping for this setup, so you won't need to do this every time. I'm going to go ahead and skip forward with these mappings made. Once you have made all of the mappings to the correct Procare type, you click Save. The next thing you need to do is select a school and then assign the chart of accounts. These are going to map from the exported chart of accounts file from QuickBooks to Procare. So here is the Procare description listed on the left. You're going to assign a QuickBooks account on the right. Once again, I'll pause and fill these in. You'll need to assign all of the matching QuickBooks accounts to each of the Procare accounts. And you'll see this as we scroll down that I've already assigned all of these. This allows me to then process my school one. And once again, the very first time through is when I have to do this mapping. From this point forward, Procare will remember this mapping. You won't have to do this every time. When I click Process here, it's going to confirm that it's going to create an export file to my desktop with this name right here for the period September 1 through September 30. I'm going to say yes and here's a confirmation. It's advised that you make a backup of your QuickBooks system before importing this file so that you have a snapshot of your QuickBooks database that you could roll back to if the import is unsuccessful or incorrect for some reason. Then click close and exit and the file is now created on your desktop ready for import into QuickBooks. And that's how to use the QuickBooks Link program in Procare.